Oi, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm basically taking you through my pack out gear. This is the large kit that I do take on to a lot of work sites, so I'll run you through it. So as you can see, it is raining, so it's a little bit echoey. You might be able to hear it. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Um, I am in the shed, so we'll definitely see what happens. And don't forget, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Um, all that sort of stuff really helps me out. But let's have a look at the Milwaukee pack out. So as you can see, I've got a few bits and pieces that are sort of extras. What we have down the bottom here are the 48 tool um, battery holders. If you haven't seen them, I've got a couple of videos on those. Obviously you get your 12 volt battery holders and then you've got your 18 volt. So that actually joins on to, that one's from 48 tools and this bracket on the back is from Packable. I did a whole post on that. So this uh, whole thing actually unclips, comes off. There you go, as you can see, this comes as a kit, 48 tools. You buy this separate and you buy that separate from Packable. You can put whatever on the front. So what a lot of people do on the front here, they'll put the crate so they can throw whatever and they can access that without having to actually um, take all the other boxes off. I do like the screw kit. The screw kit fits on the front there as well, but I've done a whole nother um, video on that. So I'll link that in the description. So I'll throw this back on. As you can see, it's nice and snug. So I absolutely love that. Um, the main box there actually sits in the car most of the time. So the batteries are always accessible and um, they're nice and secure as well. So as we move up, you would have seen the Milwaukee fish sticks there. So I actually like to put them through the holes there. Pulls in and out nice and easy. And so that's normally there just to get it on site. Then I sort of take all the bits and pieces apart. And then what we'll look at next is the Esky. Absolutely love this Esky. It's a little bit pricey in Australia. Um, I can't remember exactly how much. It might be about 140. Over in Canada, it's probably like 12 bucks, something like that. Because <laughs> the, um, the price here in Australia is just crazy. But I do love it. It's obviously pack out version. So you can take it off, as you can see underneath, we've got the pack out feet, fits in there nicely. So if you look at the pack out esky itself, as you can see it's just one solid piece. You have got a bottle opener there, I use that all the time. If you open it up, it's just a basic esky, I've got to get that water out actually. But I have found that this lasts a couple of days with ice in it, so it is very good. So then when we get to this one here, you would have seen the DeWalt. So this is my DeWalt laser. I've had that forever, maybe six or seven years, something like that. It's the DW089. This does everything. It also does plum, which you obviously want as a Sparky. So that's a really good laser. It comes with a couple of brackets couple of different brackets there. I also have the laser measuring device from DeWalt. I think it's flat at the moment, but I don't know if you can see the laser over there. I think it's too flat to work at the moment. And also the detector. So because this is a red laser, I did get the kit with the detector and I've used this a lot. It works up to 50 meters, including in light. So you put that down the other end and it picks up the laser and tells you exactly how close you are to it. I think that's flat as well. Got to put batteries in all these. But as you can see, it is now attached to the pack out. Pull it and it comes off. Nice and easy. So these feet are from Stealth Mount. So definitely check them out. I'll try to leave a link in the description. 
And as you can see, some of the gear is labeled. I haven't done any labeling to these bigger boxes yet. Um, that's something I'll get, get around to. So as you can see, we've got some data gear. So this is one of the slimline boxes. I've got to get a whole pile more of these, but that's in the future. So what we've got in the moment is mainly Cat 6 Ajax, all Simon. I've got the Simon uh, females and I've got the Simon males. A lot of the guys, you guys haven't seen the Simon males before. Use these all the time. Cable gets fit off onto there quite easily. Gets wrapped around. Shield goes in there, clamps down, and then that goes on top. There's a whole crimping tool for this, which I've got in my bag. But yeah, basically just jacks. Got a couple of bezels, black and white. I've also got a lot of beans. I don't really use these. I just had to put them somewhere, so may as well go in there. But that's it for the data gear. Then next in line is AV gear. This is actually pretty bare at the moment because I took everything out and put it into one of my other bags. But I've got green sleeve, which is for going over um, earth or shield cables. Uh, just a few cable ties, uh, some stretches. I would have done something on the stretches, I think. Um, when was that? In my one of my review bag, uh, one of my review videos. So I'm definitely going to use these in the future and show you guys how I use the green sleeve and the stretches. Uh, just some through connectors and some other bits and pieces. Just some um, connectors and solder. A little bit of Velcro, sticky Velcro. Not too much in there at the moment. It's normally actually stocked full, but we've actually been cleaned out of that on the last job. So next up, we've got fixings. This is the larger fixings box. I've really got to label this. This box is for concrete fixings mainly. Got some smaller Dyna bolts. Got a heap of those. Um, we use those quite often. Got some larger Dyna bolts, and obviously the nuts have come off. If you have Dyna bolts, you'll know that these always come off and they're floating around in the packet somewhere. So I've got a whole pile of those. And I'm not sure what these are called, but I use them. I really do like them if I can. You just drill a pilot and you sh um, drill them straight into the concrete. Really, really strong. I think these ones are actually Dynabolt, um, or they might be Hilti. We buy the Hilti ones a lot, they're the larger ones. These ones I think are removed from something. As you can see, they've been used, but still good. And if we go through this middle one, we've just got a lot of butterfly clips or spring toggles, all different sizes. Um, a couple of hollow wall anchors. If you haven't seen these, look up hollow wall anchors. Absolutely brilliant, love these. Um, well, we've got just some larger screws and a couple of spacers. Because we do a lot of TVs in AV, so we use a lot of these. And these are just sort of floating around at the moment. So then we've got more fixings. Uh, mainly screws. See, just a whole pile of different size screws. Some larger ones there, we use them all the time, especially when there's timber in behind the walls. And I actually keep that bit in there. What I want to do is buy a whole pile of the hex head bits and leave them in each of these, just so it's easier to find, um, you're not scrummaging around. Obviously you guys would have seen these bits. Um, so I normally have them on me, but if I don't, and I just bring the pack out, I want to have the bits in there makes it a lot handier. And then you just got some tappings. Uh, don't really use them too often, but they're always good to have around. And once again, more hollow wall anchors for larger stuff. So the way these hollow wall anchors work is you put a hole in that's about the same size as the shaft there, smaller than the outer diameter of that one. Push it all the way through. The little uh, hooks there actually uh, clamp down on the jip rock and all you need to do, so basically that'll be the jip rock holding onto it. Then you screw it on, obviously with your bracket or whatever you're holding on and you'll see clamps down. That's what you want to wait for is that next um, pulling motion from the impact and you know 
that's tight. As you can see, like that's, it's actually extremely tight. You can't get that off. So as you can see, the actual bit stays in there, which is absolutely great. So look up them, really strong. Um, they work great. We use them for TVs and so forth, but yeah. So the next one here, this one actually normally sits inside the car. It's sort of sitting with all this at the moment, but um, in the Pajero, I like to keep all my straps and bits and pieces. I've got some cable ties in there just in case. Um, I've got some rubber straps, elastic straps, sorry. But that all fits in there. So that usually stays in the car. That won't come on site with me, but may as well show you that. So next up, more fixings, you've guessed it. So I really want to get another one of these. It's really, really handy. Because obviously I've got a lot more um, little bits and pieces. If we open that up. You can see how much you can fit in there. Um, just sort of larger bolts. Got all washers, spring washers. Got some wall mates there. Some uh, screws for steel, more Dynabolts, smaller Dynabolts, small screws, self tappers, timber screws, small screws, all sorts. Um, a couple of those clips. Don't really use those too often, but I threw them in there. Uh, that's my assortment box, just random stuff. These are all my cage nuts. Um, everyone pillages that box. That pretty much gets emptied straight away. And what else? Just green plugs. That's basically it really, a couple of longer screws that won't fit in the normal uh, compartments. But that's it for that. So then I've got my larger box. A lot of the time this will get left in the car, it just depends on the job. So we're gonna open her up. I've just got the 12 volt bandsaw. This thing really needs an upgrade. I would love the new one. It still actually works fantastic. But just the fuel version would be a lot better. But I do like that it literally fits in there. It's tiny. Um, and if you're going on planes, I used to take this on the plane, which is actually why I bought it. I had the 18 volt, bought this, and it got the job done. So that's the little 12 volt bandsaw. Then the sawzall, reciprocating saw. and the Milwaukee M18 hammer drill with the um, hammer vac system. So that all fits in that one box, which is fantastic. Just got a couple of reciprocating saw blades. I keep them in there with those. And that all fits in there nicely like that. And you still got a bit of room for whatever you want, whether it's batteries um, or anything else. So, now we just have the actual roller box itself. We'll open that up. And there's not too much in it at the moment. Usually there's a little bit more gear that gets thrown in depending on the job. But this is sort of the essentials that I keep in there. Um, I have my Vito MP1, that sits in there. Um, it just keeps it nice and secure. So we've got the Panjute Labeler. If you haven't seen these Panjute Labelers, they are great for wraparound labels. Basically, a little bit of safety gear. I've just got the uh, earmuffs. I usually have my gloves and glasses in my bags. Just a King Chrome hammer. Had that for years, been really good, but that stays in here. Don't use it too often. Got test tags. Never know when they'll come in handy. We actually use quite a lot in AV because we've got to do a lot of TVs and um, 240 volt equipment. I keep my fish tape. This is the smaller fish tape. I think this is 50 foot. This is the steel version, that just stays in there. I use this all the time now. I actually um, use this instead of a, uh, not a snake, instead of a yellow tongue. Really good, really small, compact, and um, quite lengthy for the size. So then I've just got my random assortment of bits. So there's like hammer drill bits, all sorts. I think I've actually shown you guys inside that before. And then usually just my drills, so I've got this, and usually my impacts in there, I think I've just been using that. So uh, that fits in there nicely. 
and obviously my hole saws. That's the last thing that I have in there. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting this into a proper pack out, um, pack out box, but this is just an assortment of bits and pieces. Hop other hole saws, I've got auger bits. I've really got to go through, like as you can see, I've got a whole pile of arbors. One, two, three, four, five. I've got another one there, six. Yeah, way too many, so I've got to go through that. But this is just a trade tools box. I've had this for maybe eight years. Still going strong, really good. Thanks for watching guys. That's my pack out loadout. Everything that I take onto site usually. If you have any queries, definitely hit me up. I'm always willing to answer questions. If you have any ideas, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also head over to Instagram, Addicted to Tools. I'm always giving away free stuff, free stickers, free tools, all that stuff. So definitely head over to there and take it easy guys. Have a good one.